Hey everyone, this is Mass Live reporter Aviva Latrell. I am in West Boylston this afternoon at Recess to give you guys a sneak peek inside the new location. So Recess is uh, what's described as an adult playground featuring all of the games that you played as a kid but in life size. They're, so they're going to have things like cornhole, checkers, chess, shoots and ladders, as well as an area for uh, wiffle ball, dodgeball, kickball, things like that, and even more. So I'm here with owners Chris Clark and Chris Goodney. I'm going to turn the camera around to introduce you guys here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you, Viva? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. So thanks so much for being here with us. So thank tell you. us about Recess. Recess is a 20,000 square foot facility. Uh, nothing like it out there. Uh, we're going to do all the games that you guys played as as a shot Connect 4. Uh, you, set, you set a few of these. All those fun things. Sorry about the noise, guys. Um, but we're going to do all those fun games and what we're going to do them inside. We have a beautiful bar being built. That's right, we're adding craft 16 craft beers, because this was my idea. We said, let's put <laughs> some craft beer in there. If we're going to play games, let's have a little few yeah. drinks. Bring in all the craft beers, all the local ones, because Chris, Chris loves craft beer, and he loves to help promote these guys. He gets a good uh, timber, I mean, uh, treehouse. That's all you hear about for a week. <laughs> that's right, yeah. that's right. So we're just kind of hoping to show you guys some fun games. I don't know if we can do that. Can you do that, Aviva? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's take it to our round. Throw this one? I'm not, right, yeah, I already whiffed lights. Okay. Go, this is the game that started all. We're calling it TD 10 pin. You have to stand about 40 feet away. You're going to throw the football at the pins right over there. And let's see if I can do it. I can't do it. Oh! Oh, so close. So close. So, and what we do is this is great for groups. So we can do groups of up to 10. You can come in and rent this lane uh, by the hour and they just keep throwing the ball back and forth, reset the pins up, and have a great time. Let's well, see if you can do it, Chris. You want me to try to do it? Yeah. Well, listen, also, in, in addition to all the games that we have, we've got stuff tucked away. We've got dart leagues that will be uh, starting. We have, uh, we'll have white boards for uh, Pictionary Nights for people to come on down and play that. Scrabble's on the board. Mm -hmm. I mean, just any game that we can think of and that maybe you guys can think of and let us know about. We definitely do it. Uh, we're probably going to do some stuff with some disc golf. But right now, I'm just going to knock out some pins. Please hit the board. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, one thing that we're really excited about about this uh, venture is the field. So I don't know if you can see the way in the background, but that big white wall eventually will be green. We're going to build a green monster. We're going to have a scoreboard. We'll have our logo up there. Um, in this field, it's a 60 by 75 foot field. We can play kickball, we can play wiffle ball, dodgeball. Uh, you can rent this field by, uh, for, for parties. You can play leagues, we're gonna do contests, we'll do fundraisers, um, all those fun things. We were playing wiffle ball last night, it was a blast. What do you think, Chris? I think, I think it's time, I think it's time. I mean, we were using the big bats last night. You wanna get this one? Oh, I'll send this one for you. I mean, this is my game yesterday. Don't get too close, don't get too close. You said don't get too close. <laughs> Dice. Go there you go. All right. That's a, that's a single. <laughs> Easy single. My coworker Melissa Hansen says, Aviva, your turn to throw the football. I think she's making fun oh, of me. I think that would be a great idea. Do I need to hold the camera for you? Yes. Or no, no, that's okay. We don't need to do that. Keep what? showing us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cool. So, all right. Tell us more about this area. Well, like you said, uh, this will be uh, our, our field area. It's a mini Fenway, if you will. We will be selling some ad spaces out there for a lot of sponsors. We've had, I mean, just in the short time that this has kind of been going on, um, we've gotten some great feedback from a lot of local breweries and things of that nature that want to partner up and they want to do business with us and we want to host their events here because I mean, like I said, there's nothing like this out there. Uh, it all started from him and I saying that we had nowhere to go to talk about business, so we decided to make a place that, you know, would at least be fun if we never even got to talk about business. <laughs> awesome. So you guys are planning on running some leagues of your own here, right? Yes, we want to do uh, some some singles leagues. We also want to do um, industry nights. Industry nights being, you know, like Monday or Sunday night when most of the bars and restaurants are off. Uh, we'll, we'll run some specials to get those guys out here to play. Um, as well as, I mean, just, you know, the nurses association, the police association, fire association. We just, anything that we can do to make people who, who get together, get together and play. Awesome. We have a couple questions here. Jessica's wondering where about in West Boylston you guys so, are located. Right off of 190, right on Route 12. Uh, it's 216 West Boylston Street. If anyone's familiar with it, it's the old checkerboard building. We're all the way in the back. It's a great location. Just a minute, yeah, minute from Worcester, minutes from 190. It's awesome. Great. Sarah's wondering whether you guys have an Instagram. So we do have, we do have an Instagram. Haven't done much with it. Um, yeah, sorry about the noise, Sarah. Uh, 
Yeah, we're aging ourselves. We're using Facebook right now. That was the next question. Yeah, we're Facebook. Using Facebook right now. But, I uh, still have my MySpace up too. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And I can go back once this video is posted and link your Facebook page in the description. Awesome. So anyone who's watching this now will be able to go take click. Two. Recess Take Two is our Facebook account. Great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Caitlin's wondering, is this place going to be for adults only? So it's geared towards adults. So we're going to have a lot of adult leagues. We obviously have a bar, 16 tap system. Um, we will have uh, underage, we'll be allowed to come in, but there will be certain nights we'll be 21. Friday and Saturday times. nights will go 21 and all that, yep. There'll be a little little bell that says the uh, street lights are on and the kids have got to go home. All right. Stop plan for that. So speaking of which, should we take a walk over and check out what's going to be the bar area? Yes. We can talk a little bit more about craft beer. So right now, they're, they're doing a lot of work on the plumbing for the bar and stuff. But, uh, but right here, this is our bar. This whole wooden area is our bar. Um, we have a custom fridge unit coming in, a custom walking cooler. It's seven and a half feet uh, by eight and 18 feet. We have 16 tap system going pretty much right where that camera is right now. Um, and then anchored on both sides of it, we're gonna have uh, fridge doors, glass doors, where we're gonna be selling all the local craft beers. Our goal is to have at least 50 different offerings for everybody. Um, so from cans and, and bottles. We do have a full liquor license, so we will be offering mixed drinks as well and some frozen drinks. Some frozen drinks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Great. And then as far as this area goes, I know this is going to be the spot with the life-size board games. Yeah. So what can people find here once you guys are open? Well, this is our open canvas area, and this is going to be the area that changes up the most for us, whether it be uh, you know, life-size battleship uh, tournaments or game night. Uh, we plan on having adult foosball tables, uh, at least three, three of those that we're hoping for. Um, we'll have those kind of tournaments. We'll probably end up doing, I don't know, even live game shows. I've right. thought about doing a, you know, like a, a family feud night with actual you know, little breakdown and maybe a screen. I mean, nothing like the showmanship. I always love the showmanship. <laughs> Some, all right, adult foosball. You've got to explain that one. Adult foosball is literally so you get boxing, you get familiar with a foosball table, you get the, the pipes that go across, and those players can only go from side to side. Well, adult foosball is very similar. You get into the, the, the booth, so it's a very small, like we'll consider it kind of like this. You'd be boxed in on both sides, and you'd have people aside. You. you can only move one way or the other, and half of you are facing one way, the other half is facing the other. No, you can do this stuff here. Yeah. And uh, people love it. I mean, people, you just, they want to do something. It's something they don't usually do, and that's pretty much how the, the human foosball works. I'm still trying to figure out a, a bubble hockey. I want to figure out an adult bubble hockey game, but I haven't been able to do that one yet. That would be pretty cool. That would be. Pretty cool. Yeah, so I know there's nothing really like this in the area. Um, tell us about, you know, what sets you apart and, and why you decided to open up here. Well, for people who know me uh, and Chris, we're both pretty, pretty friendly guys. Some may call us funny guys. Funny guys. Funny yeah. guys, uh, which is actually the company name. Um, <laughs> but um, we, my plan is that we're going to have a staff that's just, you know, gonna greet you at the door you're gonna have fun with them here they're gonna play games with you if you need help meeting people they're gonna help you meet people um, it really is just gonna be a very socially active place much like the, you know the, the schoolyard was I mean people will section themselves off and you know even the bullies took a break during recess so you know hopefully that's how it will be for people here they can come <laughs> and just relax and have a good time and I mean that's one of the biggest things we talked about especially with the field and stuff is you know there are people out there who really want to compete for things um, and we don't expect nobody to compete but for us it's more like just come on out and have a good time have some fun you know we'll keep score and not everybody will get a trophy but everybody will get a beer so. there you go it sounds like everyone wins in that case some and uh, when will you guys be opening up we're pushing for the end of the month end of February end of February uh, yeah we have it looks like a lot of stuff to do but um, these guys been working super quick and, and we've been working really quick and working well with everybody. So we're hoping by the end of February, we're gonna have a ribbon cutting, an opening ceremony night, you know, all, all those fun things, it's, media night. And yeah. even if we open the end of February, we still have seven months before anybody can go outside. Anybody, so. <laughs> That's right, That's yep. <laughs> eight, New England, eight months of the year inside, right? Eight months of the year inside. Great so. business idea. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, so I will give everyone who's watching one last look around here, obviously still under construction, but if you're just tuning in, we are at recess in West Boylston. Oh, Laura's wondering what the address is. 216 West Boylston Street in West Boylston, Mass. Awesome. Great, so that's gonna be the bar area. 16 draft lines. Field area over there for games like wiffle ball, dodgeball, kickball. All right. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Aviva Latrell. I'm at recess in West Boylston. Um, they're hoping to have it opened up the end of February, uh, 216 West Boylston Street. If you're interested in reading more about Chris and Chris's story, you can head on over to masslive.com later today. I'll have a story up and thanks for watching.